everyone this is Muhammad Arkham uh, today in this lecture I will discuss about the proof of uh, d square divided by 162 so as you know that we use this formula uh, while you know find the uh, calculate or calculating the quantity of steel uh, in uh, kg so then we will use um, this formula so now I'm he uh, here in this lecture I will prove you that why we use this formula while calculating uh, the quantity of uh, steel so let's start let's go let's see here weight is equal to volume multiplied by density we know that weight is equal to volume multiplied by density how volume uh, weight is equal to volume as combination of uh, or multiplication of volume and density so looks here weight is equal to volume we know that area multiplied by length when we multiply length with the area so we will get volume it may hide also okay we can take f that is f area is the combination of volume is equal to length multiply by width and multiply by height okay so if the area is width multiply by height so then when we multiply length with area so we will get the volume okay and density is equal to mass per net volume is we know that density is equal to mass per net volume so in the a dimension of meter in area is square meter and length is meter and also you know, cage uh, mass um, uh, dimension is kg and volume a dimension is cubic meter okay so now looks here what is equal to when i multiply square meter with meter so we will get cubic meter and kg per cubic meter is the um, uh, dimensions of uh, density okay so when i cut this cubic meter with this cubic meter we will get only a kg okay so this prove this we prove fruit here that weight is equal to volume multiplied by density by dimensions okay now looks here weight is equal to area multiplied by length and uh, ma uh, density is equal to mass multiplied volume so for steel so steel um, area are um, in circle okay so this steel um, is look like um, a circular shape so the uh, so the area of steel is equal to area is equal to so we use this formula only for a circular shape that's why we use here um, in case of steel so area is equal to pi d squared divided by 4 so weight is equal to area multiplied by length multiplied by density so as we know that one cubic meter of steel one cubic meter of steel <coughs> sorry is equal to 785 kg we know that this is the weight of the one cubic meter weight of steel is equal to 785 kg so density is equal to weight per net volume density of steel is equal to 7850 kg kg so weight uh, instead of what we use here kg and instead of volume we use here cubic meter okay so putting the values in this equation so we will find weight per net volume is equal to pi d square area multiplied by 1 meter and multiplied by 10 so this is the area this is the length so this is the combination of sorry so this is overall we can we can say that this is the volume and this is the density okay so now looks here this is volume and this is 785 785 kg per cubic meter okay this is the density and this is the volume now looks here weight per length is equal to this is pi value 3.14 is the pi value and uh, this is the uh, this is d squared divided by 4 and multiply when i convert this meter into millimeter so i will get 1000 millimeter 785 five, 7850 kg and divided by 1 cubic meter when i convert when i convert this meter to a millimeter so we can write millimeter in this form also so uh, i i have to cut i mean i can cut this with this so i will get only this equation and only this because we have cut this with this so now looks here so pi 3.14 uh, 3 so this is pi d squared divided by 4 multiply by 7850 kg and divided by 1000 and 1000 this is millimeter square now so weight per length is equal to when i when i simplify 3.14 divided by 4 when i divide 3.14 divided by 4 so i will get 0 0.7850 
0 0.7850 d square and when i divide 7850 divided by 2000 so we will get this okay and we also know that each and every one number and our equation here uh, have uh, and one in their denominator okay so that's why i put here on one so when i multiply the 7 8 with this uh, 0 0.75 0 0.785 with 0 0.0785 so when i multiply this so we will get this number okay now look here here is also one so one d square um, uh, divided by when i multiply when i cross when i here do cross multiplication like this so this will come here and <coughs> one multiply by with d square so we are here one d square okay divided by 0. 1 multiply by 0 0.0006162225 okay so now looks here <coughs> when when i divide or divide 1 1 divided by this equation okay so 1 divided by this equation so i will get d square divided by 162 <coughs> so when that per is equal to d square divided by 162.2783 and so I therefore so this is wet is equal wet per length is equal to d squared divided by 162. So this will be in uh, kg per uh, meter. Okay, the, this will be kg um, per meter. So this was the uh, proof of uh, d squared divided by 162. So this was the above equation shows this the relation between uh, d squared and divided by 162 kg per uh, meter. So um, this is uh, enough for today. And if you have any question regard this lecture. You can ask me in the comment section. Thank you.